Taylor and the analysts behind those calls. And it's Block that you like here, Kevin. Why is that? Welcome. Thank you, Kelly. Um, Block stands out to us because it's been able to generate significant revenue growth and potentially gross profit growth, particularly within Cash App and then also within their Square franchise. Um, Block's been able to produce you know, roughly 126% growth uh, within subscription-based revenue over the last couple of years. And we, we expect them to be on pace for over 40% growth over the next year. And with that revenue growth comes significant operating leverage that I think the market is not appreciating. Uh, these stocks have been under a lot of pressure just given, you know, Fed sure. in interest rate increases and other things. But I think that turns around as we move through the next six to 12 months. Should they rename it back to Square? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every time I see uh, Block, I think, you know. Question. I, Crypto I get it mixed up collapsed. all the time. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Uh, the ticker is SQ, so uh, <laughs> definitely get a, get a few of those. But. Yeah, true. All right, let's talk about I don't about know if Jack Dorsey's listening to what I'm saying. He, Of course he is. Of course he is. Let's move on talk about PayPal. And, of course, it's all important Venmo app, but kind of the sister story in, in many cases of what we were just discussing. But you're just neutral there. Why? Why don't you think their prospects look brighter, brighter into next year? I mean, they definitely have some extremely valuable customers, especially within Venmo. Um, and I think longer term, the ability for them to monetize that customer base and be get and get those customers to really use that for transactions with merchants as opposed to peer to peer um, money transfers, I think is is really the key to what's going to happen with PayPal over the next, I would say, three to five years. And monetizing Venmo is extremely important. Um, however, what we're seeing is the revenue growth from this company has been slowing, especially coming out of the pandemic which is making it tougher for them to generate operating leverage. In fact, we're seeing operating margins go down. Um, and so we think the stock garners a lower multiple relative to block. And therefore, uh, where it sits today, it's just it's in a tougher spot. But we'll caveat it and say there is a lot of potential that if they were able to execute, it could be a very strong performance. Sure. And finally, Amex, just a quick word here. What would get you more excited about the stock? You initiated it with just a neutral. Um, Amex is a great company. They've done, they have one of the best customer bases within credit cards or within payments overall. It has, is incredibly resilient through recessions. It's just, it's more expensive relative to peers. It's outperformed relative to peers over the last year. It's just, you know, it's a more expensive stock relative to what I see out there today. So this is more of a relative call more than anything else. I think if we have a soft landing uh, with the economy and, and the Fed's and we start to see CPI slow, like maybe we saw this morning. You know, on the other side, you know, American Express could do pretty well because spending is going to remain elevated. Um, we expect spending to slow down over the next year, which I think is going to put a headwind on, on the revenue side for Brown.